Assalamu alaikum, Brother Shane. Wa alaikum salam. Yeah. Uh, you become a Muslim a few months ago, Brother Shane, and uh, you used to be the night, a, a nightclub manager. Okay, so you used to spend your nights with women and alcohol, and now you become a Muslim. You're spending your nights in prayer to Allah. How do they compare? It's, uh, it's a huge difference in, in, in a really positive way though. Um, before when I was spending my nights, as you say, with women and alcohol and, and whatever else, um, I, I, it was, a, it was a, a fake happiness, a materialistic happiness. But uh, when I took a step back from it all and, took, 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 and, and looked at myself, I wasn't complete. I wasn't feeling inside i wasn't happy on the outside i was it's, e it's easy to paint the face but you know it's 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 harder to actually feel you know feel that within within yourself so uh but now since i've since i've reverted to islam um it's i i feel more complete um you know just spiritually you know my whole life is a whole lot better i've got proper happiness now you know Allah, like I praise Allah like, every day and you know give praise to him and thanks and everything you know um, as, as we should and he just he, he rewards me with bringing uh, more like um, more Muslim brothers and sisters into my life every day who help guide me you know as well but they also you know help me get towards you know hopefully you know getting to paradise in Jinnah you know but you know um, <clears throat> Yeah. Yep. Sounds all positive, sounds really good. And people that are aspiring for that life, sort of lifestyle, they, they're not nightclub managers yet, or they're, uh, they're in that lifestyle, the nightclubs, the dancing, the singing. What would you say to them? Because they feel they're already happy. Why should we believe in God? Why should we become Muslims? What would you say to them? I would say to, uh, I would say to them to actually take a, take a step back, put the drink to the side, have a sober thought, and really think, are they really happy? Like because I, I know the answer already and the answer is no. Um, you know it, you, you can't buy happiness through buying alcohol or through buying girls or through buying clothes or these or all these other materialistic things. You can't buy happiness. You can you can you can only ask ask Allah for for happiness really. You know, and I would I would I would urge them all to like just just reconsider. You know, uh, there was a point in my life where I thought. All this here, like stuff, all all this, all this talk about you know not not going to heaven because of, because of, because of, um, because of uh, my alcohol intake or my, my going out clubbing or, or the girls or whatever I was with. I always I always thought that people were just trying to scare me, but you know it's true. <laughs> you're not you're, you're I, when it when it comes to your death, you're that's it. You're dead. You 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 will burn. Like but just reconsider, you know, and you will you will you you will you will find true happiness. Is all I can say. You know. So what should they do? How should they go about this? How, sh if people are searching, or even if they're not searching, what should these people do? I would advise a lot of people to just go out there and read. I did. I did this all by myself. I, w I, I haven't been like coerced by anybody, you know, or anything I like got there. I've literally taught myself, and that through like through reading the Quran, through reading various other books, and obviously the Sunnah as well, and uh, just. Um, just read, and once you start reading, like you will, you, you will, you will, you and and praying as well. You will, you will feel yourself ha more fulfilled and happier, and you will, you you will revert to Islam, and you and you will live a purer life, and obviously a longer life because you know you will hopefully then you know get to paradise inshallah. But. So two things you mentioned there: one is reading, and the other thing is praying, asking God for guidance. Yeah, I'm pretty uh, nice. And forgiveness. and forgiveness so asking God for guidance and forgiveness he's going to guide us as we, we as Muslim we pray and you pray now as Muslims and before that you were praying like that okay and what is your advice to people who are feel they're Christians and they're already happy uh, I assume you were a Christian before you became a Muslim brother Shane yes I was I was and um, I would say you know again you know Christ, Christianity in itself, you know, it's it, it's 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 been twisted a lot, you know, unfortunately. And you know, from being a, you know, when you do, a lot of people are afraid, you know, by um, reverting to Islam because they think that they're that they're denying Christ or this here. You're not, you know, every every prophet is every every prophet is recognized in Islam. You know, peace be upon them all. You know, Abraham, Jesus, Moses, Muhammad, and so on. You know, um, so. Like, you will get better fulfillment because 
the the Quran followed on from the Bible and but Islam itself goes right back to the days of Abraham so it covers like it, it's literally it's, it's, it's worshiping God you know too many too many faiths like Christianity and and and, 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 and other faiths have been set up to worship people or places and we're not supposed to do that you know we can't worship anything else but Allah you know so to Christians the message is by becoming a Muslim you're not rejecting Jesus Christ peace be upon him but you're becoming a true follower of Jesus Christ peace be upon him and all the prophets you said yes absolutely and and obviously um, and of God <laughs> brilliant and uh, the advice to Muslims that are watching what would your advice to Muslims be uh, maybe some of them uh, are weak Muslims they're not practicing Islam properly what would your advice be to them and what would you be to the ones that what would your advice be to the ones that are practicing Islam but maybe not giving dawah uh, keeping it very much to themselves what is your message I would advise um, all Muslims, uh, weak or not, just to you know to pray. You know, especially the the, the weak Muslims who have maybe gone off the path, to uh, I guess revert. I guess in a way, you know, it, although you, you you're born and you've been brought up a Muslim, but you're not living your if you're not living your life like that, you just still need to revert and come back, and uh, just um, yeah, just just pray and just give dawah as well you know and help 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 spread this 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 beautiful faith and uh, to all current muslims um as i said and as you, as, as, you, as you rightly said as well just keep giving dawah you know because like as you know even if it's just a verse out of out of the quran or or whatever you know any little bit or even if it's just telling Tell, tell, telling the person sitting next to you on a bus or on a train or whatever or or even in, in your place of work like I, I actually use my place of work to actually um, help to try and spread the word as well you know but any opportunity that you can just to help to spread the word because people can see how beautiful this 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 faith is you know like me like since since I've come into all the Muslim brothers and sisters that I've met have just been so helpful and so warm and just so it's so inviting and yeah, it's been it's been overwhelming, I guess, to be honest. You know. So people in third world countries that are watching this, uh, wherever they are, poor countries, they look up to the West. Uh, you are from the West, and uh, you've rejected that lifestyle. You've yes. gone to Islam. So people in these countries that are. All Muslims, they should appreciate what they've got. It's fantastic, right? Because you've been through that and you've uh, uh, rejected that lifestyle and you've come to nights in prayers, as I said, from nights in nightclubs. And um, uh, they should take it more seriously, as you're saying, and going out and giving the message of Islam. I appreciate the simple things, you know, all these, like, as, as I said, uh, I think a couple of times during this, uh, like, all these materialistic things like that, 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 that the West has created, like, it's... It, they are just that they're just materialistic things and they don't really get you happiness appreciate the simple things appreciate the, the, the things that the that Allah has blessed us with you know like the, the beautiful trees the beautiful birds like the, the animals just everything that we have here like we've got so many things that we just don't appreciate and once we start appreciating them is when you're when spiritually that you're going to properly feel connected and you're going to properly feel happy and at one and all these stresses that you have from the West and from this here um, corporate society that we live in, they, you, you wouldn't even experience them because they'd be shut off. So you, that's, that's, that's in the eight months that I've that, that, that I've reverted and uh, throughout my journey, like that, that's that, that's how I felt, and it just get uh, I, that feeling just keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Sounds good. I won't hold you up anymore, Brother Shane. Thank you very much for coming and giving interview uh, because people like to see follow-up interviews of people that have reverted or converted to Islam, alhamdulillah. Uh, I won't hold you up anymore. If you're, uh, I'll let you carry on uh, giving da'wah, spreading the message of Islam. And, uh, and also you've got a Muslim name, I believe, now. I know it's not compulsory to change your name. Uh, it's not essential, but you have got a Muslim name, Brother Shane. What's your name now, Brother Shane? It's Suleiman after the... The, the wonderful prophet the prophet uh, Suleiman uh, it's you named after him and you've taken take a name after him and uh, Suleiman so brother Suleiman so brother Shane uh, now brother Suleiman from nightclub nights in a nightclub to nights in prayers Jazakallah khair and thank you for the interview continue continue work and uh, pray for all the brothers sisters that are watching this and continue your great work thank you okay thank you